Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Good morning. Right, next stage of the project is to get the drainage. They're called regards here, basically the little manholes here for the downpipe and also the French drain over on the other side just here. And we're going to run those big long grey pipes all the way over to the water tank that we just put in. So uh, I've just got to dig out this concrete that I put in here to protect all my cables and water pipe. Um, I've only got to go down 200 mil, they're not too big. Um, dig that out, make it nice and flat and uh, basically get that one cemented in. And over here this is the French drain. Now I'm going to do a double height one here. So the main sort of manhole thingy will be there and then there'll be an extender on top just to bring the height up. So this is what we use in France here. It's basically concrete. It's quite nice uh, smooth molded concrete and we have um, three sort of outlets or inlets uh, and then the lid. And the lid they've got little cutouts here so I can actually just um, angle grind that out carefully and that will be allowed the, the downpipe to sit in. And then I'll just use one of these, which they've got various sizes here. I'll just cut out the 100 mil and then slot my pipe in there. I'm using a gray PVC pipe. It's the only pipe we have here in uh, France for outdoor and indoor work. So uh, I've got four lots of that. I just want to thank EcoFlow for sending us this River Pro 2 portable power station. We have been using it a lot, particularly on this project, because we're over there by the water tank, um, just cutting the grey pipes, etc. It's just a lot easier just to take this out. And it is only 7 kilo or so, so it's really, really usable. Um, the Delta uh, 2 is a little heavier. Um, this is near enough the same size though, it's 760 watt hours up to 800 watt output and I think the boost is about 1600 watts so it'll, um, it'll run basically any household appliance. Um, it's also got a UPS mode, uh, less than 30 milliseconds switch over EPS time which is uh, pretty good and if you whack your computer on this or something you know the, 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 the critical needs um, this works perfectly. So uh, it's got all the, the ACs on the front, which is absolutely handy actually. The other units we use, I've got them on the side. Having them on the front is a lot easier. USB also is on the front and it actually powers. It, this can be charged up from the USB. It's a bit slow, it's only about 10 watts, but um, that's pretty handy. It also charges on the back from 240 or 110 AC. So it's taken about one hour to charge. Um, what is it taking in? 830 watts from the mains power supply, as well as the solar plug or the 12 volt adapter for the car. Um, and that's where we'll use it a lot. Um, this will be in the vans with all this kit that we always use. Um, yeah, it's pretty handy. It's also got a 12 volt output um, just here. Um, all of them switch on. The main switch and then the small switches like all their other uh, their power, uh, power stations so um, it's uh, once you get used to one they're all very much the same but uh, this also goes into the um, app the EcoFlow app so you can control it remotely and that's pretty handy too well, we control our uh, Delta 2 here all the time remotely because it powers the whole garage so I'd like to thank uh, EcoFlow again I've put the links in the description um, there's a discount code there also, so uh, please check them out. EcoFlow are pretty much the leaders in all of this, so uh, they're pretty good, pretty good kit and uh, can be well trusted. So uh, thanks again. Now let's get on with this uh, install of the drainage and uh, get some of these pipes in. So I'm going to use my uh, EcoFlow River 2 Pro um, to get my drill plugged in. So I'll just turn him on. 97%. Now this is my uh, uh, 
big sort of uh, drill that I use to break concrete up or drill through concrete. Um, it's quite a powerful little unit, so I'm just going to plug him in and we're going to see. Turn the AC on. Okay, I'm just going to lift him up. So that will give me about an hour's uh, use of the drill. Um, again, pretty small unit, really easy to carry around the job site. And uh, I know we use it only for building at the moment, but it's absolutely fantastic just to chuck into the boot of the car. Um, we'll probably have it up front with us in the vans and that will charge all our, um, all the various things that we keep on saying, the GPS units for the bikes, uh, camera kit, and also phones. So uh, we just have to plug it in once into the uh, the 12 volt car charger and then we've got lots and lots of usbs and also the ac outlets too right i'm going to get on and drill this uh, concrete out hoping not to nick the pipes because i do want to get down to the electrical conduit the red one um, and i want to just take a little spur off that for the pump for this big water tank so uh, there's some delicate surgery going to happen now That should be right for size. 30 centimeters, 15 there. Yeah, and I'm gonna come out a little bit about there. see the actual plastic, the mem plastic membrane for the uh, concrete slab and this is all our rubble here. This is the deep section and that is the thinner section for the actual garage. I came deeper here, um, I'm not sure, oh for the posts. Yeah, so every post I went right down uh, 30 centimetres and then all of this is between 150 and 200. And that's my expansion gap. We have the little crack all the way through. Well, I've actually gone a bit low here. This is going to sit about here. So that's, that's okay because I can put a concrete pad down. And if you look under here, you can actually see the electrical conduit. So uh, it's not too far down. I nearly put the, uh, oh, I have actually, the pick through it. So um, I can use that hole there for my spur off to go and feed the pump. I wouldn't normally hoover out a hole, but I just want to get as much dirt as possible from off this conduit. So when I uh, basically break into it, let's turn this on, turn the AC on. There we go. Um, when I break into it, all the dirt just doesn't fall in. So let's go. Uh... Should be all right. And that little blob was Julie. Now I've 
I've hoovered it. I'm going to make a small hole where I've actually got the hole already from where I uh, hit it. One more, I think. Okay. So I'm inside the little control room. I've got the conduit. I'm just going to feed this through here. Okay, Julie, see if you can push it through. Ooh. Is it coming through? Well oh, done. Keep going. Yep, stop. A second. Okay. I've got it. Wait right. a minute. Yeah, I'll now you got to um, I'll keep it coming. It comes, I'll unravel it as it comes through. Wait, wait, wait. So straighten it all out because I've got to go all the way across now. Okay, give me a minute. Pull. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've de-raveled it with the help of Ian. Got rid of my knots. And we're ready to pull through for the last little part. Here he goes. Take that. Right, that should be okay, I think. So we can work out where it goes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that will go there. So I just want to measure, basically. That distance. Yeah. Five centimeters. Just gonna mark this here. So what, as we're doing these paths, um, which the lid of this um, little manhole will be the top of the path, we're just dropping down five centimeters. So it's just a little uh, lip here. Um, it's just another protection. If there's so much water, I doubt it because it's all gonna go downhill, but it's not gonna go back onto this concrete. So every step we do so this will now be level with um, some curb stones that we're going to be putting in and then the garden will be five centimeters below those curb stones etc so i'm just going to mark off that there so we need some uh, cement and some gravelly bits and bobs but unfortunately we've buried everything under pallets there's no snakes in that, Ian. It's been a while since we opened this. Still fine. Is it? Mm. That's good then. We wrapped it up well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In the wheelbarrow there, Mr. Wright. This is probably uh, a year old. We've sat out here for a year. Ah, ah, nettle.
Doing your job, woman. You're making a good job of it. Might give you this job all the time. Solid units, aren't they? And I've got this one as well. Up a little bit more. Ah, we've got to remember that's the top of the lid, so we've actually got to come down a bit. Or do we have the lid just poking up? I'm not sure. Got the lid the... just a tiny bit proud? Yeah, I think. I'm going to leave it like that. Yep. Yeah. All right. That wasn't too bad. You can see where the pipe is going to be here. It looks quite high. I don't actually have to dig a trench here. So the path will be probably be about 50, 60 centimeters above this. Um, I'll probably put a little layer of concrete just over here to protect it. But um, yeah, it's not too deep along here and I don't want to dig it any deeper. So, um, well, I can't because my electrical conduit's right in the way. So a bit of bad planning on my part, but um, no, that works. We'll get this one cemented in and then we can basically put the pipe in and get the levels right for that. We shouldn't have emptied all the water out of the IBCs. It hasn't rained. We thought there was going to be a massive storm. So we filled, took all the water out of the IBCs and put it into our underground tank. And now I've got no water to do the concrete. <laughs> We've got a dribble. Ugh. I've got a litre of water. Might have to do. And the AC, little left button, left button. Oh, sorry. Julie's not very good with the left and right. Shh. Don't tell everybody. Okay. Time now to cut out the holes just so I can put this temporarily in. Again, these systems are quite simple. And then I'll use a uh, black sealant. At a hundred mil. Yeah. Just cutting this pipe, I'm doing it in situ because uh, I've got to have a, a female, no, a male end this side. I'll just use the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Right. 
Where's my mark? Pretty handy, you don't have to worry about all those extension leads and everything else. And also doing it with a battery grinder or something. It's a much nicer cut. There. So I'm doing the secondary one now, which is the French drain. So that should just slide there. And now I put the um, manhole across that. Right. Now I've got to get this in and it's going to be permanent. <laughs> got some sealant on the inside and upside down outside too so uh, that should be good and it's sealed in there this is the first time this uh, French drain has been um, terminated basically so it's the next day um, first task today is to dig a small soak away for my um, French drainage there. So we got the box in there and now we're just going to basically dig a hole here. And it's only um, a couple of meters away from that uh, box. Point is going any further. Um, a meter square and probably about 75 centimeters deep, I think. It's not too much water comes out of that. And then I'm going to chuck some of these bigger stones in there and then some fabric on top. Okay, that's uh, deep enough, I think. So I'm going to um, flatten that out, just basically jumping in and stomping on it, and then put some fabric in there, and then fill as many of these stones I've just taken out as possible, and a few of the big ones just here. And that should allow for quite a decent um, soak away. Well, I've just come up and joined in. It's just turned lunch. I had a quick lunch break. He's dug his hole and um, just measured up this pipe. Just needs a little bit taken off. I'm just going to shorten this. Do I need to hold it? So this is the one for the French drain that runs all around the back of the garage workshop. To protect him.
Now he's got me up here, my job, pick up every little stone I can find. The boss has spoken. Just the bad ones, because we want to use the good ones for the gabions. Yeah. So it's a matter, a matter of um, rock selection now. <laughs> yeah, I've got to fill this little pit. At the end of the pipe, we've made a mini cave. So we've covered it in a cinder block and we've just been gathering all the big stones to make a canopy here and then we've just filled it with every size stone we can find. It's quite deep. It's about a metre cube yeah. of uh, rocks. So now we're going to put on the, uh, the fabric and then uh, backfill. Uh, although it's only looks like about sort of six, 12 inches of soil, this is actually going to be raised up by another 12 inches of soil, 30 centimetres. So it will be uh, quite, quite deep under the ground as well. So uh, that's pretty good. We just uh, we backfilled a little bit up to the drain there. So um, yeah, should be good to go. It's hot. Oh, it's cooled down a little bit now, but it's been very hot the last few days. So we've dug all that trench out. Um, we're ready now to lay the pipe and uh, we're going to do that in the next video. We just haven't got time today. Julie's got to get back. Uh, clock's ticking. Feed all those clients up and I'll try and get back um, in the probably tomorrow evening now yeah. uh, and get that most of that pipe in when it's a bit cooler. So um, thanks for watching again. Thanks for following this, uh, well, this part of the project. I know there's a lot of digging involved. Well, but, uh, we'll be joining all our plumbing. That's the main thing we need to do is get all these um, drains connected to the tank. Before this major yeah. storm that's supposed to be rolling in. It's supposed to went in last week, it didn't come. Yeah, it's definitely coming. It's uh, We keep getting all the, the red warnings that it's approaching. Mm. So... so Thumbs See you in the up. next video. Thumbs up. Please subscribe, share the video and uh, catch you next week. Bye.